Pittsburgh police tonight looking for a couple accused of repeatedly stabbing a man, stuffing him in a, tr in a trunk and stealing his car. The victim survived. He talked to Bob Allen today about his ordeal. David Legrand thought he was helping two homeless friends find a place to stay. But today he's recovering from numerous stab wounds and his car is missing. Legrand says he took a couple to Durad Street in the city's uptown section and removed their luggage from his trunk. But instead of thanking him, he says the male punched him in the head and they tried to force him inside his trunk. Both of them pushed me, was trying to push me into the trunk. And I had my boots on and I was trying to hold the trunk up, up there and they're trying to close it down on my leg. During the struggle, he says the female began stabbing him with a screwdriver. She started stabbing me in my leg so I could try to get my legs in the trunk and then I could set the trunk all, all the way in so I could get my feet all the way in. Exhausted and injured, he stopped struggling and they closed the trunk. But he found the safety lever inside and escaped while the car was still moving. As his assailants fled in the car, two police officers drove up the street. But he says things didn't get much better after they stopped. Eventually calling me an idiot. I'm out here on my bare feet and I said, I need help, I need help. I'm bleed, blood dripping from my face. They try to tell me don't bleed on their car. And that, I mean, they're just sitting there looking at each other, smiling. Legrand says he told the officers the couple was escaping in his car. Eventually, paramedics showed up and took him to UPMC Mercy. Legrand was treated for more than a dozen stab wounds on his legs, his neck, and in the back of his head. Meanwhile, police confirm they are investigating the assault and carjacking, but no other details are available. Bob Allen, KDKA News.